Yo, what's good guys? It's Carson Craning back again with another YouTube video. Today I got some pickups for you, um, as well as giving you guys like a little life update about like what I'm doing, where I'm living, like why I have a new filming location, if you've noticed. Just a little vlog on life in general. But um, otherwise, let's just kind of get right into pickups. Uh, copped a couple of things recently. Some expected, some kind of unexpected. But uh, either way, let's just get into it. So starting with outerwear, the first coat or jacket I picked up is this Rick Owens bomber. This Rick bomber is from Larry Fall Winter 19. It has a kind of silver gradient to it. It kind of reminds me of the pieces from the Strutter collection, the gradient pieces in that. Fun fact about this jacket, the previous owner left me a Snickers wrapper in the pocket. So shout out to him. You know who you are. You're the boss. Thank you for that half-eaten Snickers. It's, it's a puffy material, um, softer. I've had some Rick jackets that are more of a nylon kind of material, while this is definitely more silky, soft, very comfortable. And then on the back, it has this very interesting feature where part of the back is a nylon that's kind of like a coated nylon, um, kind of like a waxed, and it kind of cuts off. It's a very interesting jacket. Um, mainly bought this for practical purposes. My thing with Rick really is um, I buy a lot of the pieces for practical purposes, not really necessarily I buy the most avant-garde Rick pieces. Rick is such a skilled designer at making clothes, even his less crazy pieces, um, for example, that don't have the most intense, um, out there cuts, um, usually are very well crafted and fit the body very well, and this is no exception to it, even though it does have a um, kind of crazy print on it. His more traditional silhouettes are very practical, but they're also so they're also extremely well crafted to fit the body in a way that I don't find any other garment can. Playboy Cardi Gobert. Next, we have a Comme des Garçons jacket. Um, this one is from the 2003 collection, and I think it might be the most fascinating piece of clothing I own currently. One of the things about it is, is that it is not like a traditional um, jacket material. It is nylon, however, it's like a coated nylon that gives it like a very plasticky, you can even kind of hear it, um, texture to it, which is kind of rigid. However, it fits the body pretty well. And then it also has some very nice, like the coating itself is hand done. You can see all these different colors and textures kind of coming together. So it creates a very interesting piece as well as the stitching on the inside of the garment is very interesting. I believe it is taped, so the seams never truly meet. Um, that's kind of a similar technique to some CCP items. Um, however, Ray is doing it in this case. Very interesting jacket from a collection I quite like. Uh, this is my second or third piece from 2003. Um, can't really get over the texture, the color, and the construction of this jacket. Um, the fact that it kind of has this faded look where it has these kind of pops of um, green, kind of gray, and kind of like a matte, like a matty silvery color really give it some interesting character. As far as I'm concerned, this may be my favorite comb piece as of yet, but also very wearable. It's one of the more wearable comb pieces, kind of one of those things where the devil is really in the details and it's not the flashiest thing, but it is still such a very cool jacket. Moving on to pants, I bought some Omplice Issey Miyake um, pants. These are just your average Omplice Issey Miyake pants. There's nothing too crazy or special about them. They've been a pant that I've looked at quite a lot, especially a couple of years ago. This was something that I really wanted. Um, however, I never pulled the trigger on it. I bought other things instead. Um, and now that I finally do own them, they're very comfortable, very wearable. So they're definitely a meme pant at this point, but for the price I got them, pretty happy with them. They're comfortable um, and they help make a fit more interesting in my opinion. So moving on to some more Comme des Garçons pants. These pants are from the Fall Winter 19 Homme Plu collection. Um, they're very, very interesting. It's an acetate rayon blend and it has this very interesting kind of fish scale looking pattern to it. Very 
large flowy pants that fit me very well and I really, really do enjoy them. Definitely one of the louder pieces I own, but they're very fun to style and they're extremely comfortable. Um, I quite like the cut of them, how kind of wide and flowy they are. They're almost like pajamas, I dare say, but I look kind of like Merman or Aqua Boy. These are like the Aquaman pants, I suppose. But the shiny kind of texture they give off and the kind of way they play with the light when it hits them kind of gives it either a more orange or blue tint due to the um, texture of the fabric as well as the print on the fabric. Here again we have some comb trousers. Uh, these are definitely more vintage -y than they would be um, than any of the other comb pieces I own. I think they're from the 80s or 90s. What drew me to them was the cut as well as the aging that they have been through. So they're definitely like the oldest pair of comb pants I have. The, they are not in the greatest condition in the world and that's kind of what drew me to them because sometimes a piece with a little character, much like any of you guys who have vintage know or are into vintage, um, pieces with character can sometimes make them better. And these definitely have a little bit of character to them. Your average kind of corduroy pants with a really nice wide traditional comb fit to them. Moving on, we have some helmet laying trousers I bought. Got the zippers on them. Definitely not fear of God, wish they were. Anyway, these are some helmet length flight pants. They're in somewhat of a military style. They're very similar to a lot of military pants you see um, as far as they are 100% cotton and the cut and the detailing of them. Um, the only difference I would say is is that they have these zippers on them. The zippers on them are kind of something I'm getting used to. Not sure if I like it that much. As I said, it does. It is somewhat reminiscent to Fear of God in not the best way possible. But they are growing on me and I'm glad to have got them for a good price. Happened to walk into a consignment store, see them for a good price and thought, my size, why not? Let me get them. Next we have some footwear pickups. Um, First shoes I got are Rick Owens Ramones. If you know me, this should kind of be a surprise, kind of not. I did have Rick Owens Ramones before, um, however, I sold them on a fly to get a different piece, and then I missed them, so I bought new Rick Owens Ramones. These ones are uh, the Hexagram variant from a couple of seasons ago. Um, quite enjoy these, the Rick Owens Ramones. You can't really go too wrong with Ramones. What else can I say about them? They're a classic shoe and as much as I regret selling the ones I had before, I'm glad to get new ones, so. And more for footwear, I got Raf Sim and Stan Smiths. I walked into a consignment store, saw them for a stupidly good price. Raf Sim and Stan Smiths were something I wanted a lot a couple of years ago. Um, kind of grew out of that because it is just a Stan Smith with an R on it. Um, see, my Stan Smiths are built different. They got an R on them. But at the end of the day, when I saw these for a good price, in person, they're my size, they fit. I said, why not? And now I am officially one of my memes. I'm the dude with the... I'm the dude, Raph Simmons archivist guy who the only two Raph Simmons pieces he has are Raph Simmons Stan Smiths and a Raph Simmons tote bag. You know about Virginia Creeper? Same guy. So quite literally, I have become one of my own memes, but um, there's not a lot to say about these. The leather quality is good, better than your average Adidas Stan Smith. Um, they have an R in them and they say Raph Simmons. Um, the color of them being this kind of pink, salmon-y color is quite nice. Raph Simmons, please don't touch my Raph. Always been a stand-up guy, rather stand out. Raph Simmons, Stan Smith edition with my bands out. Raph Simmons, Rick Owens, usually what I'm dressed in. Moving on to t-shirts. A couple of comb tees I copped recently. Uh, two in particular, this one has some pink kind of squares on it. It says Comme des Garçons Om Plu. This one is Comme des Garçons Om, has some balloons on it. Uh, nice color, both of them fit me well. Can't really say much about them, they are just Comme des Garçons Om Plu tees. However, good price, sometimes you have to cop. Moving on next, I got a vintage shellac tee. 
Really big fan of the band Shellac. If you're familiar with Shellac, it is Steve Albini's project after Big Black. I will say um, there are a couple of things I'm not super happy about with it. Um, even though it is vintage, it is from like the late 90s, it doesn't have a lot of character to it. I kind of wish it was used possibly a little bit more because it is in such good condition and when I bought it, I actually did wonder if it was vintage. The tag and the stitching do check out. It smells quite good, so I think the person who had it before me washed it before he sent it to me, so thank you for that. Some comb t-shirts that come in smelling like boof. Pretty simple shirt. It's black on black, says shellac on the front, says shellac, uh, has the Omo thing, the little shellac symbol on the back. I did get this in an XL, and so it is super oversized on me. And I bought it in XL because it was a good price. And I am going to hem it, which may make some people who are into vintage kind of cringe and freak out from that. When it comes to the band tees I have, I do like them to fit because those are the pieces that I always end up keeping for extended periods of time. They are super special to me as far as my band tees, vintage band tees go. Those are some things that I usually will not let go of no matter how hard I try. So getting them hemmed or adjusting the way they fit isn't always the best thing to do for certain older collector's pieces. So as many of you guys know, I haven't ever had a consistent area for filming finally got one um, and that is because in the past year I've moved around five times back and forth from different places in both Minneapolis and Seattle however I am in a much more permanent space now uh, finally which is quite nice for me
process of moving into this place has been fun. I'll give you some B-rolls of what it was like, kind of road tripping from LA to Portland, then to Seattle. So it on the way picking up furniture. Also, while we're at it, I thought I would show you guys some records I've picked up recently. I used to be into collecting records pretty occasionally. I've just gotten more into it as I have gotten back to Seattle. So I thought I'd show you guys a couple. First record, Daughter's Album, You Won't Get What You Want, classic. This is in the, um, this is the clear limited edition vinyl record. Very cool, quite like that one. Very good record if you haven't listened to it. Um, dark, but good. Polvo, some good post-hardcore math rock. Very fun record. Quite like this as well. Another pickup. Um, the Jesus Lizard, Liar, very good kind of post-hardcore um, noise rock. Less mathy, though it does have some very cool, um, though it does have some interesting kind of math rock elements to it, just not more of the traditional math rock to like say your povos or unwounds or slint it's a little bit more on the post the hardcore side of post hardcore noise rock kind of thing huge inspiration on daughters as well especially the vocal style um, of alexis marshall so very good records quite like this one <sighs> then we have big black atomizer um Good album. Again, I'm a big fan of Steve Albini's work from Shellac to Big Black. Again, kind of on that noise rock side of things, though it's definitely more on the pseudo industrial kind of side of uh, noise rock. So very good album, worth listening to. Finally, we have the Slint EP. It is a single 12 inch vinyl record. Um, the sound on this uh, little 12 inch is more similar to that of their Tweez album than of Spiderland, so it's a little bit more noisy. Good, nice little collector's piece. Um, but yeah, those are the records I've picked up recently. Music is definitely a big part of my life. Um, so a question for you guys kind of would be if I were to do an understanding music series similar to the understanding fashion series, would you guys like to see that or not? Use the comment section if you have any suggestions for videos you do want to see you don't want to see, uh, let me know. I will leave a list of my music favorites um, at the end here. Please subscribe, like, share this video, do what you need so I can keep making content for you guys. Thank you. Uh -huh. I'm meant to be. My leader treat me like an enemy. He a casualty.